Yo. Alright, so, huh, let's start talking about why a streamer is afraid of confrontation and why a streamer is afraid of banning somebody from their community that keeps harassing me, that keeps sniping me. They know that. They're not afraid of confrontation. Like, maybe she should answer why she's afraid to ban that person from her fucking community. Maybe it's because that person has consistently blackmailed her. I believe that I just heard her say that... What, I believe I heard a moment ago say that she's afraid of confrontation because that person is related. No, that's not why. She won't remove that person from her community because that person cons will threaten to blackmail her consistently. That person is a donator since last year. I don't know. What more should I say? I saw somebody. So somebody was uh, mentioning to me that somebody was talking about why. Let's see here. Why. So a disrupting scream is bad, right? So there's somebody that uh, was, you know, they're asking why, why she has this person in her community, despite the fact that he's that he's blackmailed her. He he keeps sniping me. There's conversations going around saying that she met him. So I saw somebody, uh, some Azers guy. I mean, basically calling out. Calling out, you know, what the fuck is going on? What is this? Why Why are you keeping him in your community when you know that? Like, you know, and yes, she knows that this person is doing that over and over again. And that they're apparently faking conversations or whatever the fuck. And then she just called out on it. Why won't she ban him? Because that person will blackmail her. If she bans him from her community, if she stops talking to that person, he will blackmail her like he did last year. Because people don't know what happened last year. So maybe she should start talking about it to help get my stream back. Instead of pretending like that person is a normal goddamn person and like the people related to her stream are normal goddamn people when they're not. These people are not normal. I keep getting messaged consistently that she's not doing anything about these people. And it's because if she does, the confrontation is they'll start blackmailing her. They'll start saying, they'll start saying, They'll start saying like, okay, we're going to talk about you and Ab If you ban me from your stream, then I'm going to start talking about you and Ablo and stuff like Like, it's, it's insane. It needs to stop. Again, like, I can't stream normally because of it. I need my stream back on Twitch, guys. I would like my stream back on Twitch. She needs to ban people like that from her community that have blackmailed her. There's proof that they've blackmailed her. Consistently. And that's why... When I hear somebody saying, that's why when I hear her saying on her stream that like, oh, I'm afraid of confrontation and like, you know, banning somebody for, she's afraid because that person will start blackmailing her if, if she uh, gets rid of them from her community. And they consistently are sniping me on the ladder like over and over again. But the other reason is because they donate. Um, but, uh, well, it's more than that. It's more, it really, I, it's not even just the donate thing. It's because that person is obsessed with me and her. And so, she won't ban him because that person will, will start blackmailing her, will start talking about her children in, in her Discord and her chat. So, I mean, if she's not going to remove people like that from her community, she should probably tell the truth and stop. Like, I'm tired of this shit where I see these people from last year. It's the same, again, it's, it's, uh, you know, I don't know why they're still there. People are pointing this out to me. Uh, I need my Twitch stream back, guys. Like, I really, really, really need my Twitch stream back. She has, she won't ban that person from her chat because he's a black, he, he's a blackmailer. That's why she won't, and also because of the things that happened last year behind my back that, by the way, she's forgetting to fucking mention. Um, so, yeah. That person should not be anywhere near anything, to be honest. They're, they're a, they're a psychopathic blackmailer. I, it's tough to stream when these people are doing this, guys. I, you know, it, it, it is annoying, but they're, you know, when I, when I hear, when I hear something like that, that, um, someone says they're afraid of, they're afraid of confrontation and removing them from their community, 
It's because they know that if they remove them, then that person will immediately start blackmailing them because they're mad that uh, me and her have a thing. And they're obsessed with me and her. They're absolutely obsessed with me and her. So, and because of what, again, what happened last year that, you know, that was very wrong with this person and one of her mods trying to, trying to blackmail her out of coming to my fucking chat. So, um, I need to get back. I need to get back on Twitch because it's very wrong that I'm not on Twitch right now while there's dumb people like this associated that that she's a, she's afraid she's actually afraid to remove them from her community because of what they'll try and do to her like last year they'll try and blackmail again so she should remove them from her community and not it's not about being afraid of confrontation it's about removing pieces of shit like that 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 have consistently blackmailed her and done stuff and released screenshots and are and and have only tried to get with her because of me. She should remove them from her goddamn community and stop making this shit up. She, stop making shit up about, I'm afraid of confrontation, I'm afraid to do it. Like, no. She's afraid to do it because that person blackmailed her. They, they are actually just a bad person, so. Um, you guys can... I mean, that's, that's apparently what I heard a moment ago. I, I would like... I would like my fucking Twitch stream back. I would like my Twitch stream back. She can talk on my behalf. Other people on Twitch can talk on my behalf. I would like my fucking Twitch stream back. What, what do I do here? What do I do? I would like my Twitch stream back. I, I'd like people to stop making excuses to not remove cunts from the community that are bad, awful fucking people and then pretend like Everything is just A-OK, -okay. and you're just gonna stream on Twitch while while my Twitch stream is indefinitely suspended. They don't give me a response ever. They never give me a response. I, I haven't gotten a response back in five or six months. So it's about time, like, I don't know if people have to, like, start petitions, but people need to, you know, she needs to remove people from her community that blackmailed her last year and told her to not come to my chat and calls all this. And people are starting to notice that, like, why, why, is, why are people like this associated? Why, are, why are you just letting them sit in your chat? And it's again, it's okay. She's afraid to ban them. She's afraid. She's afraid to ban that person and other people because of stuff that has happened last year and such. So, um, it's it's insane. I'm I'm glad that a couple of people are starting to point out how insane that is that she just let them sit there, um, knowing knowing that they're constantly obsessed with me and her and trying to attack both me and her. But um, I mean, I need my Twitch stream back, guys. You guys want me to stream? Everybody, everybody wants me to fucking stream, but it is very difficult to stream when this shit happens every single day. And this, and I, if someone is at a loss for what to do, I told you, I told them what to do. Like, it's not that difficult. 